Hey guys, Lee Swiggum here at North Phoenix Fit Body Boot Camp with your Form Friday video. Today we're going to be talking about the shoulder press. I'm going to review a barbell shoulder press using a PVC pipe, and we're also going to show a dumbbell um, shoulder press. All right, I'll show the demonstration on how to do it, and then I'm going to talk about a lot of um, mistakes that I see or common mistakes when doing a shoulder press that either are going to cause shoulder injury or keeping you from a proper progression and getting stronger. Um, and then we'll talk about points to keep to, uh, points to be aware of when doing it that'll help you do the best shoulder press, do it correctly, and uh, again get the best results. So using this as a barbell to demonstrate a proper shoulder press. All right, from the front. All right, from the side. should look like. Now here we we'll talk about a few mistakes that I commonly will see. All right, probably the most common is elbow and shoulder position. Having the elbows back too far where I'm really straight out to the side and my elbows are behind my wrist. In this position, if my elbows are back behind my wrist, my shoulder is rotated to actually press kind of forward, okay? So to get that proper position of the shoulder, I actually want to roll my elbow forward to be a little bit in front of my body, I want it to feel like you're actually showing your armpit. You know that sounds weird, but it is a good thing to think of when uh, doing the shoulder press. Show your armpit in front of you, and that rotates the shoulder into the right position to go straight up. Again, if the elbow is back, the shoulder is actually rotating to go more forward. Okay, so rotate that arm. The elbow should be really below the wrist, straight up and down. In this position, it's not. It's at a back angle. So get those elbows forward so I can go straight up. Again, show those armpits, all right? So that's probably number one. Um, number two, standing with a really locked, straight knees and trying to do a shoulder press, all right? So we want to be about hip or, hip or shoulder width apart, and I want you to have a slight bend, what we call kind of a soft knees, a little bit of an athletic stance. So why do I want those knees um, to have a little give in them or be a little soft? Well, if I'm pushing up, especially you know, once I get above my shoulders or above my head, and if my knees are completely locked, if I have any sort of um, imbalance and I move a little bit, I don't have any cushioning in my legs to, to absorb that. If it all goes straight to my low back, um, you're looking at possible back issues from going up and having to turn that way. So if I have a little cushion in those knees, I have more cushion in my hips and knees um, if something moves a little bit, if I lose balance, um, get a little off-centered, something like that. So it's really more about back health, um, having the soft knees, um, than it is just purely knee health. But with that being said, also, I really never want to do any exercise where my knees are completely locked. All right, that's really a bad position for the knees to be in. Really, any joint could be fully extended locked. I really don't want to do that with my elbow. What the only time would be if I'm doing, you know, extensions or something with the tricep. But I've never had that joint completely locked, just like I've never had my knees completely locked. So it's kind of a soft knee. I also want to exaggerate good posture. I want to have my shoulders back, up nice and tall. Um, and again, getting those arms or those elbows a little bit forward. I am really not out at a 90 degree angle. This is not that shoulder press. You're not really the strongest that way. It's a lot of strain into those delts and in the shoulder. So it's really not here. It's more here to press up. Okay? And to demonstrate that, we're going to get back up that PVC pipe like a barbell. Alright? If I want to go wide like this in the shoulder press, I really can't with the barbell. Okay? For me to get my elbows back like that, again, my shoulders push or turn to push this way. So for a barbell shoulder press, my elbows have to be here, okay? Again, below my wrist, a little bit in front of my body, okay? And then pressing straight up, you'll notice in the barbell shoulder press, my chin's in the way. So I do have to move my head back slightly, clear my head, and then get it back forward. I don't want to move the head back, because gradually I will follow that head and start moving back. So I want to get that head back forward as I lower, bring head back, head forward. So it would look like this, okay? 
Like that, head forward, up, all the way tall, cover my ears, shoulders purely engaged. Like that, got it. Okay? Like that, head forward. Like that, head forward. Like that, head forward. Okay? So that's how you're going to work with a barbell shoulder press. Dumbbell shoulder press is going to look very much the same, but you don't have that bar going through the chin. Okay? So again, we're almost set. The heads of the dumbbells right on that front delta a little bit, we can see right here. So again, my elbows are slightly from me, I'm not way out here, all right? This isn't a sh good shoulder press. It's going to be from right here, all right? Slight knee bend, elbows slightly in front, showing my armpits, and pressing straight up, cover my knees, back down. All right, so that positioning will keep the shoulders in a, in a healthy position, keep them from getting injured. It'll allow you to do more weight. Again, with the forearms straight up and down, elbows below the wrist, it's going to allow you to progress better with your weight. Now, it's going to allow you to get straight up and get a good contraction at the top. Again, feeling like you're going to cover those ears up at the top. All right, and that's just going to help progress further along um, with other exercises, such as the thruster, which is a squat up into a shoulder press. Um, demonstrate that for you. Um, but you'll notice that's going to be, you really can't do it from this position. It's going to be right here, squat, up into a shoulder press. Squat, shoulder press. All right, so with perfecting the shoulder press, again, not only are you going to keep your shoulders healthy, you're going to be able to get stronger, do more weight, and you're going to open up possibly for a lot more exercises, more complex functional uh, movements, um, and you're just going to get in better and better shape. Uh, you're going to be able to do a lot more, and again, get stronger. So, um, hope that helps. If you got any questions, feel free to comment below. You can message me, message the gym, and North, Fit Body, uh, North Phoenix Fit Body Bootcamp. Um, Okay, that was your Form Friday video, the shoulder press. All right, be blessed. Have a great day.